Um, I'll just do a little porn for you right now. Woo! Uh, let's talk about testicles for a quick sec. Um, I'm a woman and I sometimes have relations with men in, in a naked way. And they have testicles, also known as balls. And I don't know what to do with them. You know, I don't have any, I can't practice. I mean, the only thing I know really about testicles is that I used to kick my brother in them and he would fall to the ground and cry. So I'm kind of like, oh, Shanna, I don't know, what, uh, too hard. Uh. I just end up like David Bowie in Labyrinth. Is that good for you? Sometimes I think about aging. Um, not so much about what I'll look like, but like who I will become. You know, like the other day I got all worried that I'll turn into one of those 60 year old women who keep Kleenex in their sleeve. <laughs> and I'm talking, my mom will be like, I'll just put that there for later. <laughs> but then I relaxed myself. I was like, Rebecca, by the time you're 60, they probably will have invented something like a pocket or a garbage can. <laughs> I can use those. But I remember when I was a kid, one day I, I had this epiphany. I was like, oh, oh, I'm so glad I'm not a man because men have to go bald. And I was like, I'll get wrinkles and I'll get droopy, but at least I don't have to lose my hair. You know, that's not my problem. But as I get older, most of the guys who ask me out are bald or balding. <laughs> Starting to think maybe this is my problem. <laughs> you know, I, I don't have to lose it but I have to watch it fall out. It's like a really slow, depressing movie. It takes like 30 years to watch. The ending's really shiny. I'm not against bald people. My brother's bald and I love him. I love him. He's got the island going on. You know what I'm talking about? There's like a landmass back here and then like Cuba. The front. Sometimes when he's sleeping, I glue a little palm tree to that area. <laughs> a little boat, buy some cigars. He loves that. But seriously, I'm not a baldist. Um, I've gone out with a lot of bald guys. Um, Cause bald guys can be freaking hot. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> there are a lot of people with hair that are really ugly. <laughs> anyway. Um, Yeah, the only awkward thing is going out with a man who's uh, in denial about the fact that he's bald or balding. You know, I'm like, just embrace it, guys. Um, Cause I'm a good girlfriend. And if my boyfriend's in denial about something, I want to go along with that denial. You know, I want to get on the pretend train to I have hair or a big penis or wherever it is that we're gonna go. That's fine. So I'll find myself saying things like, no, what are you talking about? No, I'm balding. <laughs> what does that mean? No, no, you're just, you're just stressed. I don't even know. Like, no, you. <laughs> Meanwhile, his head is like a dandelion in the fall. You know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and the last guy I went out with, whenever the topic of balding would come up, he'd always get really defensive. You know, and he'd be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not bald. No, no, I, I, I've just always had a really big forehead. I'd be like, right. Has your forehead always been the size of your head? Mr. Clean? You're bald. Uh, I actually went into a sex store recently. Um, it was nothing weird. I was just buying some giant anal beads. No. I'm lying. I was not. I'm not really, that's not really my thing, the anal beads. A friend of mine is always trying to convince me. You know, she's like, Beck, no, they're amazing. Okay, you shove them up the poo hole, okay? And then when it feels really good, you pull them out. It's like, what am I, a lamp? <laughs> Why don't you try turning me on the old fashioned way with a gerbil? No, but I love going to sex stores because it's...